So today we're going to be changing the front and rear differential fluids. Uh, Mopar, their 75W85 is about $96 per quart and none of the dealerships in my area have it and I'm not going to pay that amount of money. It's, I think that's ridiculous. So I um, heard a lot of good things about Redline GL5. So that's what we got here. I bought three quarts because um, you're going to use between the front and rear a little over two quarts it's just going to depend on when it comes out of the fill hole how much you're going to use the thing with the red line is is it comes with friction modifiers for limited slip differentials however i'm still going to use the mopar limited slip additive for the rear um, just to be safe it's not going to hurt anything using it um, and this is only like seven dollars so might as well first thing we're going to do is start the vehicle up and i'm going to take it for a little drive and get the fluids warmed up So this is what we are going to need for the rear differential fluid change. You're going to need at least two quarts of 75W85 um, and then the friction modifier. Now you're not going to use the full two quarts but you'll need at least that many because it's going to take over a quart. Um, the exact amount is really unknown, it just depends on when it starts coming out of the fill hole. So it could be 1.2 quarts, could be 1.4 quarts. It's just gonna depend. You'll need a drain pan. You'll need an extension, possibly an eight millimeter uh, Allen socket. There we go. And then a ratchet. One other thing you may need, especially for the rear, is a fill tube and I'll link this one in the description. I got it off Amazon. It was super cheap. All right, so here is the rear differential. This right here is the drain hole. I come from the drain hole right there. If we come along to the passenger side and up. You see the fill hole right there, right in the center. So passenger side, up. So we're gonna break that fill hole uh, bolt loose and take it out. That's to allow airflow. There may be a little fluid spill out. And then once we do that, we're gonna take out the drain plug. Now we're going to loosen the drain plug and this is where all the fluid's going to pour out. So we'll have our drain pan ready. As you can see, it's a little bit brown. Doesn't look too bad, but I don't know the last time it was changed, so I might as well change it. So it looks like the last bit's dripping out there. I'll let it drip for a few more minutes, and then I'll plug it back up, and we can start to refill. All right, so we got the fill plug, or the uh, drain plug back in. So now we're gonna go over to the fill side, on the passenger side, and we're gonna fill it with fluid. One thing I want to mention about the rear differential, a lot of guys in videos on YouTube, They'll pop off this plastic cover and they'll take off this bolt that's up here and it literally says do not unscrew um, that is not the fill hole because that actually sits higher than the fill hole and what you'll end up doing is overfilling your rear differential the right side hole that we use in the this film is the proper hole to fill 
So since the red line bottle doesn't have like a, a, a point on the end for easy pouring into the fill tube, what we're gonna have to do is use a pump like this and basically suck fluid out of the bottle and then put this into the fill hole and pump it in and just do that until we're full. This I got on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description. So this angle is from the passenger side right in front of the wheel. Um, that's where the fill hole is. So I'm just gonna kind of film what it looks like filling it up. All right, so the first thing we're putting in here is gonna be the friction modifier, the whole tube. So just gonna squirt this in there. Like so. Now I've got the Redline GL5 fluid. Gonna get that in there. And squirt that in there. And you guys, we're basically going until fluid starts pouring out of there. And that's when we know we're full. Put the drain plug back on. 